you know, learn a skill, learn it correctly, that works best for you, then hone in on it thousands of times, thousands of times. And that's how you, that's how you develop that, and it's almost an intuition. It's what the Japanese call feel or judo. You've got to feel your judo. When you learn skills, drill on them, it's drill training. You have to have a structured way of practicing, okay? Just go back to when you were, if you played high school football or soccer or whatever, baseball. You did a lot of drills, didn't you? Well, judo is the same thing. You gotta drill them. You gotta make sure, put yourself in positions that are realistic and work on those skills. That's what makes it a functional, realistic skill. Here's the drill, okay? I mean, we can, we can get good at the skill and not be under pressure, but where you want to really Step your game up. It's from this learning the basic technique, learning the basic skill, but do it under some duress or some stress or some pressure. Okay? Because you're going to be really doing this in a judo match or a sambo match or you know, whatever type of grappling sport you'll be fighting in. He's not going to just let you do that, but you know, in this drill he will, but you've got to have a certain amount of time. You're not going to have a long time to do this. You've got to get down there and get it quick. So here's what the drill is. So, Eric is totally cooperating. He's, he's just helping Derek here, right? Okay, so the drill. But we're going to start, start with your hands on his shoulders like this. Oh, okay. So we're going to start the drill this way. Just pretend Derek knocked him down with a foot sweep or something down, and Eric went turtle. Okay, he says, man, I'm just, I know I've had, but I'm going to wait for the referee to call Mate. Well, now, Derek knows he has just a real quick amount of time. All the referee's going to let him have, he's got to quickly get to his side, do his breakdown, his turnover, and get Eric on his back. So what he's going to do from here, he's going to go, and I'll say, you know, we'll, we'll do it for time. And I'll say, do as many as you can, say 30, 40 seconds. So he's going to do one on the left side and one on the right side, okay? So just continues to do a setup. So, I'll do the farm here. <laughs> do the farm here, like, and don't turn left so he's just being a demo. Okay, so he's going to hop to the side, there you go, farm your leg. That side, boom, get up quickly. And hop on the other side. Farm your leg quickly. Boom. He's going to keep doing it one right, one left, for the entire time until I say stop. Okay? So he's under some pressure now. He's got to do it quickly and efficiently. Good, that's a good. Remember a phrase. It's, a, it's kind of a corny thing to say, but really, it's, it's, it really sums it up. Take your time, but do it in a hurry. Okay? In other words, be efficient in your body movement. Take your time, but do it in a hurry. So he was taking his time, but he was being very efficient with his body movements. He didn't hurry. That's what we're going to do. So one right, one left, back and forth, and I'll tell you when to quit. We're going to, you know, do time for about, there you go, time for about 30, 40 seconds. And then the other person, see how many bottom guy you count for the top guy, see how many he got. Okay? So that means, let's say Derek got, you know, 10. All right? 25. 25. You know, he's on wow. steroids, whatever. You have a drug test him for steroids. But, and then, and then, and then, but Eric knows. He said, oh, man, he just did 25. I got to do 26 because I want to beat him, and I want to make him good. Because I'm macho. Yeah, he's macho. There you go. <laughs> but it's a good drill. Okay, so get your partner, and let's team up, and we'll drill. Pull down. Okay, go. That's one. Start over. Go right and left, as many good ones as you can, about 30, 40 seconds or so. Just keep drilling. Do under pressure. And time. All right. I mean, I could come to practice and Derek and I could say, oh, let's do 10 breakdowns. And it'd take us a half hour to do them from just goofing off. Well, you just did at least 10 breakdowns just then in 30 seconds, 35 seconds. So that's what I'm saying. You be efficient in your training, okay? I mean, you can come in and have four or five, three people on the mat with you. And if you know how to train, you'll get a good workout. You know, it'd be better if we had 20 or 50 people in the dojo. It'd be fabulous. But we don't. So we have to be efficient in how we train. So that's what I'm saying. So drills like we just did, where you know, take your skill, drill on it, drill on it, drill on it some more. Okay? Where you do thousands of repetitions of the skill, and that's how you get good at it. If you do it correctly, we were talking about this in our dojo the other night, 
you learn a skill, learn it correctly, that works best for you, then hone in on it thousands of times, thousands of times. And that's how you, that's how you develop that. And it's almost an intuition. It's what the Japanese call feel or judo. You've got to feel your judo. Okay? All right.